my guest bedroom. I also call this the star is born room. And along with being the guest bedroom, this is the room that I sleep in whenever I have insomnia. I have these sconces that I bought on the bedside and it's an exposed bulb right now. And I got the lowest wattage bulb I could find, but it's still a little bright in my eyeballs. That's annoying to me. That's annoying to my guests. So I have a project. I've been trying to find lampshades that will hook onto these light bulbs. I can't find anything anywhere. Maybe I don't even know what search terms to use. So I decided to just DIY it. I am going to try and make some paper mache lampshades. Let's get started. <laughs> Dinosaur. I'm trying to vlog. Shh. Shh. I found a few different things that I could use to mimic a lampshade shape. Found these bowls, little plastic kid bowls for snacks. I have these copper molds that I had hanging in my kitchen. I think that this shape is super fun. They might be a little bit too big. And then lastly, I have this bowl. So this would be a more even shape. This is where I would normally have my husband stand here with these things and I would stand back from afar and squint my eyes and look at it and see which one I like the best. And I was worried that this would be too big, but I really don't think it would be. I think that this would be actually just the right size. All right, I've got all my materials here. I've got a bunch of newsprint, some Elmer's glue, some scissors. I'm going to cut up a bunch of paper into little bite-sized pieces so that then I can create some pulp. I feel like um, I feel like this is the kind of project that would be good to do with kids, but I don't think my kid is gonna join me. No. One of my very favorite creators is Christine McConnell. She has a Patreon. She also has a show on Netflix called The Curious Creations of Christine McConnell. It's almost like Martha Stewart meets Pee Wee Herman meets, I don't know, Dita Von Teese. She's fully like pinup style, beautiful. She bakes phenomenal cakes. She always does the coolest gingerbread houses. And she's just truly like a next level creative where everything that she does, she takes it to the extreme as far as just making it perfect. And she is so inspiring to me. And I follow along with all of her projects and I have never made any of her projects, but getting in here with my hands right now, I feel like she'd be proud of me. So I'm channeling my inner Christine McConnell. It just dawned on me that I probably could have bought some paper pulp and sped up this process a lot. But it reminds me of whenever I went camping with my friend and built a fire, I learned how to chop wood. I learned how to make kindling. I learned how to stack my fire. And yeah, I used a lighter. It wasn't like we were rubbing sticks or anything. I built a fire and it took some time, it took some grit, it took a little bit of muscle, and I was so proud of myself. And there is something to be said for the process, you know, blowing on it a little bit. It connects you to it. So I'm just going to look at all of this ripping of paper and cutting as building a fire. It's connecting me to the process. It's making me feel creative and it's going to make me that much more proud of this project whenever it's all said and done. Okay, I've got my paper all ripped up in here. I think ideally the pieces would be a little bit smaller than this, but we're gonna make it work. What I'm going to do next is add some hot water to this and then I might throw it in the food processor to turn it into pulp. Got my hot water. I'm making myself some tea. This pot leaks, and sometimes do you ever feel like your one job is to hold water? Stop leaking. So now we're gonna add some hot water to the paper. Thank you. Our paper is now fully saturated. I'm going to add it to the food processor. I 
add more water. So now I have my bowl full of pulp. Next, I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit of excess water out of this, and then I'll be adding the glue. So look out. I'm so paranoid that I have resting bitch face. I feel like I need to be smiling all the time if I'm gonna be a YouTuber. Just focus, I'm not mad, I'm just focused. All right, now you can see that we've got some like clumps of pulp here. overnight maybe hit them with a hair dryer wouldn't it be funny if this was actually an ad for the Dyson Airwrap <laughs> see how it is tomorrow and then from there I can remove them from the molds and start painting them all right it has been a full 36 hours since these have been drying there's still a little damp I think that they probably need a little bit more time to dry but I'm gonna go ahead and try and take them off of the molds so that I can get these bowls back and so that they can maybe dry out even a little bit. Okay, this one turned out pretty nice. Hi, it's a whole week later and these lampshades are finally dry. I never use it hair dryer or anything on them. I thought I was going to have to fix these little cracks here with a little bit of Gorilla Glue, but now that they've dried, it feels completely stiff, so I don't think that I need to fill that in at all, but I do want to be very careful as I drill out the holes in the top. So that's going to be my next step, is really figuring out how to get a hole into the top of this. One of the next big decisions I have to make is deciding what I want the outside of this to look like. I know the inside I want to be gold. I bought some gold spray paint, but I don't know what I want the outside to look like. I'm kind of thinking black and white stripes, but I don't know if I should go up and down or you know around in a circle or just maybe solid black. I'm not sure yet. I drilled my hole and it was too big where the light bulb just slid right through it. So I couldn't attach it because the light bulb just came through. So I took a paper clip and I unbent it. And now I'm gonna use the paper clip 
in here to hold the light bulb on. See, now it stays on because that paper clip in there is holding it in place. But the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is that this might be a fire hazard. It's paper on a light bulb. All right, so I'm gonna drill out the hole in the next one and I'm going to go ahead and paint these. Hi, my lampshades are done. This is the moment of truth where I'm going to put the lampshades on the sconces. Yesterday, I spray painted the inside gold. As you can see here, I really like it. I really like the edges. And then I went ahead and just painted the outside black. I kind of wanted to do black and cream stripes, but I didn't have any cream or white paint. And I think that overall, I'm really going to like how the black shade looks with the black cord on the fixtures. Let's hang it up and see what it looks like. Okay, this bulb, I was a little bit worried about this being a fire hazard, but this bulb is not hot at all, so I think we're gonna be okay. I think I like it. Let's do the other side. loving the way that this looks. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do, which is to shield the light bulb a little bit, get it a little bit less in my face. And I think it just looks so good. I love the black. I love the unexpected pop of gold. I love the way that it lights up this green wall. I love the way that this black matches the black cord. I really think that this project really elevated the look of these sconces. Mm -hmm. 